I'm about to drop the hammer and dispense some indiscriminate justice! Ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to reveal my portfolio. And you may be wondering why. Chris, you've been so hesitant to show everybody what you have invested. And here's why. Because it is my fundamental belief that the amount of money you have is irrelevant to whether you're a good investor. What makes you a good investor is actually understanding why stocks go up and taking into consideration tax advantage investing. If I see somebody that has the same knowledge as me, but has $10,000, but they know to max their tax advantage accounts, they know to live below their means, they know not to buy whole life insurance, that person is a good investor in my opinion. The account balance is meaningless. Meet Kevin is a perfect example. He has millions of dollars, but where did he get that money from? from his scummy YouTube channel, ad revenue, and from his stupid courses. So his portfolio is massive because he makes so much money from all his scoundrel activities that it makes it seem like he's a good investor. Now, another reason I'm doing this, I'm sick and tired of you degenerate clowns, you losers who always say, you can't build lots of wealth with index funds. Index funds are stupid. I'm sick of hearing it, okay? I don't care if you have 20,000 in Tesla. It doesn't matter to me. You're invested in an overpriced garbage stock that is probably worth about one-tenth what it is right now. I'm sick of it. You can build incredible wealth very quickly simply by using index funds. Now, we're gonna go through my accounts. Of course, I'm not gonna show you everything, you know, like my account numbers, because you're a bunch of thieves. But I'm going to show you that if you just consistently invest and max out your tax advantage accounts, you can build a lot of wealth quickly. And to keep this in context, I'm 31 years old. I turned 32 in September, okay? And on top of that, I actually used to be married before, and I got a divorce, and I lost half of my portfolio back then, which was about $150,000. So if I hadn't gotten divorced, so the, the less the more of that story is don't get divorced, I'd have probably 150 to 200,000 more. So be careful, boys. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the numbers. And I'm going to show you why all these idiots that are pumping cryptocurrency and individual stocks are a bunch of morons and have no idea what they're talking about. Now, let's go ahead and look at the numbers and then we'll actually go through the accounts. So in my civilian TSP, that's my 401k, I have $35,388. In my Army 401k, which I did five years in the army, I have $138,000. Now these are both tax advantage accounts. So all this money you see is the money I'm gonna actually have in retirement. Whereas if you invest outside of a tax advantage account, you're gonna have to pay massive taxes whenever you sell it. Putting your money in tax advantage accounts is key. I have a Vanguard account, I have 75K. Sadly, that is in a taxable account because I had planned to retire early and I, I probably still will. But worse comes to worse, I'm going to start selling out of this account if I need to and putting this 75K into my IRA and my wife's IRA. In Fidelity, I have $55,000 in my personal account. It's split roughly half and half between my IRA, which I'm going to continue to max every year, $6,000, and taxable investments. Those taxable investments are just sitting there waiting for me to sell them so I can put them in my IRA so I never have to pay taxes again. Robinhood, I have some screw-off money in there, mostly Alibaba. I have $5,200 there. Lending Club, horrible place to put your money. I invested in this like six years ago, horribly tax inefficient. I have $2,618. I'm selling out of that. I'm going to put that money in an IRA. I have savings and cash of $22,000. I don't have that on here, but you can just trust me, okay? And then my wife also has investments, mostly IRAs of $35,000. So even if you took my wife's out, I have $334,000 after a divorce where I lost $150,000. So what did I have there? So do you see this, ladies and gentlemen? This is like 99% index funds. All I do is I max my 401k 
and I get a match and I max my IRA and my wife's IRA. So I'm roughly investing $34,000 a year into tax advantage accounts. This is how you build wealth, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and go through. So I know you clowns think I'm making this up. Oh, me Kevin has more money because he has ad revenue. If you gave me me Kevin's income, oh my God, I would be so much richer than him. And you want to know why? Because I know how to actually invest and not pay taxes like a moron. So here we go. So here's my civilian retirement plan. You see the 35 there? You doubters, you haters. Look at that index fund, L2065. It's a, it's not a total world, but it's mostly total world because you can't invest in like China and your uh, thrift savings plan. My army TSP, 138. My Vanguard, 75, 384 in a target retirement fund. That's an index fund. My Fidelity, 55. I got a little joints account with $1,200. I have 30K in taxable, which is going to be slowly filtered into my Roth IRA. And yes, I was stupid because when I was younger, I didn't max my Roth IRA. And I'm just starting to do that now. Okay. Right now, I have 23,000, almost 24,000 in there. And on January 1st, 2022, that's going to be 30,000 because I'm putting six grand in there. And then here's my, here's my wife's stuff. Okay. Mostly in tax advantage accounts. And the rest is sitting there waiting to be put in tax advantage accounts. Here's my Robin stock account. I have Alibaba, Baidu, Lincoln Capital, and VYMI. I'm getting freaking crushed on my Chinese stocks, but I'm still bullish long run. $5,200. And my little lending club account, $2,618. Now, look at all these index funds. This is mostly VT, my Fidelity. Wife's is like 100% VT. This is a freaking, my uh, TSP is 100% index funds. My Vanguard is a target retirement fund, which is boring. And of course, my new TSP for my civilian is 100% target retirement fund or 100% uh, life cycle fund. How, how, how does this not show you that you can build a lot of wealth by simply buying index funds? Live below your means and put everything you possibly can. I mean, you should have some emergency savings. But put as much as you can into tax advantage accounts. Tax free wealth. Okay? Now, I, I can't wait to see the comments on this video because, well, I have 375000 from cryptocurrency. I don't care. Okay? You're speculating and you're a loser. This is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Live below your means, max your tax advantage accounts. That's it. If you want to debate me, if you think I'm lying, go ahead and leave a comment. I, I want to hear it. I want to hear it all, you know? I'm such a loser for investing in index funds. I don't know what I'm doing. You can't build wealth with index funds. That's stupid. Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about me. Screw the haters and the losers on YouTube that pump garbage stocks and cryptocurrency. Buy index funds and tax advantage accounts, and y'all have a wonderful day.